Hey guys, Radio Garage, back on the bench. Thanks for tuning in once again. Um, please take a second to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it. And also at the end of the video, if you liked it, give it a like. On the bench today, we got a Cobra 25 LTD Classic. Um, just going to be doing a uh, general tune-up and alignment. Uh, going to go through the radio and see if it needs anything. Um, I started actually to... Uh, Started taking the car, the screws out of it, and uh, I thought, you know what? Let me let me grab a video of this quick. I know it's just a Cobra 25, but who knows what we got going on? Might be something interesting. So I stopped what I was doing. I quick grabbed the camera, and uh, I figured, uh, let's see what we got going on here. So right off the bat, I plugged it in. Um, I don't hear anything coming out. Um, no static. So. Uh, I did plug in an external and the external I, I did get some static so I'm guessing the speaker inside is blown out. Um, now we'll quick go to the output, uh, dynamic all the way up and we'll see what, see what we got going on over here for power. I'm just over 5 watts, hello, 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 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, we're doing like almost 30 watts out of a Cobra 25, so, uh, yeah, let's see what this, uh, let's see what we got going on here, though. Okay. One, two. One, two, three, four. Audio, audio, check. Audio, check. Oh, that ain't looking too good. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to figure that out. We got a uh, we got a pretty bad pretty bad waveform there. So, uh, let me just throw the tone into it quick, and uh, this way we could get a steady signal. Okay. So that's what we got, guys. Um, for a waveform, that's how we're getting that power. So it's all ghost watts, you know. You're not really, uh, you're not really gonna see any of that power. So let's get this thing opened up and see what we got going on inside. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. We got her opened up, and um, what I'm gonna do is see if this AMC is. Uh, is working if the AMC circuit is still intact because I'm not really seeing anything too crazy going on here uh, not really seeing anything going on to be honest uh, no swing kit over there uh, finals original it's got the original 2078 final um, I'm not really you know nothing's jumping out at me so I'm, I'm hoping it all it is is uh, somebody's got the uh, the modulation pot cranked up uh, this side looks good really clean it's got talk back at it back there I can see that uh, I don't know why they did two resistors in series uh, not really too sure why they did that I think I'm gonna just uh, probably unsolder them and and put one uh, one resistor across if I decide to keep the talk back I know a lot of guys do like it uh, what I usually like doing is I like putting it on a switch this way you could um, turn it off, which is nice, I think. You don't always have to hear yourself if you get tired of yourself. So let's uh, let's jump right to it and see if that AMC is working or not. We're going to throw a tone into her. Uh, best way to, to do it is to get a tone into it. Okay. And we're going to... And there's that, there's that sawtooth um, signal we were seeing. And let me get a tuning stick here. And let's see if this is gonna adjust for me. And nothing there. Yeah, it looks like the AMC circuit's been disabled. Yep, she's clipped. So now I gotta go through here 
Okay, and I'm going to have to see where exactly they clipped this sucker. So, give me a minute, guys. I'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back. Got the uh, speaker issue figured out and got the, uh, the modulation um, limiter issue figured out. So, I was going a little nuts. Um, not going... Um, Looking on the uh, part side of the board, didn't see anything missing. Okay, so I'm like, uh, you know, this thing's still, it's still showing clipped. VR is inactive, all the parts are there. So flipped it over onto the solder side and uh, let me get a pointer here. Um, and right, uh, right here, um, they had the trace cut. So. What I did was I soldered a, I soldered a piece of wire across that. Okay, so that's active again now. Modulation circuits fully intact and functional. And then the speaker um, had two issues. Uh, this wire here, the one speaker wire going into the board here was busted out, resoldered. That still wasn't getting um, consistent sound. So found out the um, external speaker jack was uh, the one leg was the one leg was broken. So I'll show you that. That is uh, that is right here. You can see that that front leg there is broken off, and I'm gonna put this one in here. So uh, do that and uh, do the alignment and then we'll be back with the finished result that should be all it needs okay we're back Cobra 25 LTD Classic all done and uh, the only thing left I gotta do is probably I'll uh, clean up the face plate some but we got the uh, we got the jack there replaced that's the old one and I took out the uh, the talkback uh, double uh, resistor there uh, that they had in so here's what we got going on I'll uh, show you quick on the bird here 50 watt slug about 6 watts on the carrier and dynamic here we go dynamics all the way up 1 2 3 4 5 one, two, three, four, five. Audio, one, two, three, three, four, 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 four. So she's doing between 25 and 30 watts clean. And I'll show you how it's clean. Um, when I throw the tone into it. Now we don't have, you guys remember the, the sawtooth special there? Okay. Um, actually, uh, you know what, I got the spectrum analyzer up right now. Let's do the spectrum analyzer. So there she is. Um, center's 27205, spans 500K. So it covers the whole CB band, 26955 to 27455. Nothing there. Okay. And we'll take the span out to... Uh, Take it out to 30 megs. Okay. There's 30 megahertz. And let me get this back. Okay, nothing there. Looking good. And that's clean. Now we'll take it to the uh wanted to show you the on the scope here. So now I could show you on the scope. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect uh, waveform on the scope. That's done. Okay. And we're going to jump. We're going to jump right into the receive here. Okay. I'm going to try to get that hooked up. And we'll get that in there. Okay. And we're looking at that left column, guys. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Left column, start dialing her down, 12 dB. Let's see where she drops. And looking good. 
13. There she is, 12 right there. Okay, and we're at negative 106, so that's really good there. And we'll pull that out. Let you hear it. Okay, see where it drops out at. Yeah, maybe about negative 115 or so. So, I mean, that's 115 and she's still in there pretty good, so we're not going to go any farther with that. Okay, and I'm just going to uh, show you that talk back. Uh, I, uh, like I said, I wanted to do, I ended up putting it on the channel 9 switch right there. So down is uh, is normal, one, two, three, four. And then up is the talk back on. One, one two, three, four, one, two, three, four, hello, hello. And you could crank that volume all the way up. One, two, one, two, three, four. No distortion, mic gains all the way up. And then I'll let you hear it on the monitor radio. Okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let me turn that volume up a little bit. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hello, hello, hello. One, two, three, four. Hello, hello, hello. One, two, three, four. All right, so that's what it sounds like there. Everything's uh, everything's good. Uh, everything lights up on the digits. Um, just kept the stock meter light. Uh, didn't really, you know, like I said. Didn't do anything to this one except uh, tune up alignment, um, talk back on a switch, replace the uh, external speaker jack, and she's ready to go. So, nice little Cobra 25. Appreciate everybody tuning in, and uh, appreciate the new subscribers. And make sure everybody stays tuned. We got more stuff coming up. So, uh, Radio Garage. We're off the key.